hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is a quick room tour video of the hotel that i stayed in in paris and just a quick disclaimer please excuse my face is a bit cropped up i held the camera in the wrong position but please do enjoy the rest of the video welcome back to my channel this is the second episode following yesterday's so um as i mentioned um i did want to tick off a few items off of my wish list and that is what i actually did today in paris Guys, if I tell you that shopping is a sport, it's like, it's fitness on its own. Sorry, my eyes are a bit um, burning a little bit because I think my eyelash glue is starting to sting, but um, I don't know why. Anyways, good to see you guys again. Welcome back to my channel. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe. It really does help a channel grow. It will definitely help this channel grow you know, from strength to strength. So I'd really appreciate your support. Please support a sister, show some love, and yeah, that would do me very good. Anyways, without wasting further time, uh, let's go ahead and unbox. I didn't get a lot of things, but I got the most important things that were really lingering in my mind, lingering on my wish list. So I'm very happy that I managed to take most of the stuff off. And yeah, maybe new things will come up on the wish list. We never know. We, we really never know, you know, with this life that we live today. But anyways, uh, worth worthy to say, Paris is so, so nice at this time. You know, I've seen so many videos saying that, oh no, Paris, there's so many tourists in August, blah, blah, blah. No, guys, Paris is empty. There's no one here. So you're not standing in long queues at Chanel, at Hermes, at Dior. You just walk in and you get great, amazing service because literally you're on your own. So I'd highly recommend that this is a time, contrary to popular opinion, this is really, really a good time to come to Paris. It's so chilled. It, it, restaurants are chilled there's no like you need a reservation literally you get a table as a walk-in guest in the best vibey restaurants that are otherwise you know difficult to get into here in paris so yeah uh now that we've gotten that out of the way let's go ahead and unbox um i'm tr i'm still fatigued guys and i think in the last video you might have noticed how exhausted i was you know i was barely making any sense so i do apologize about that please just bear with me um i just landed and you know it's quite tired i still am a bit fatigued but i just want to make the most of my time out of the congo so that i can be able to post for you guys update you guys interact with you guys you know um before i disappear again i hope i'm not going to disappear for a long time i'm really going to try to upload as much as i can um on this trip i am fatigued but let's just do it um because i'm excited okay so um, let's start with dior uh sorry i'm just gonna have to stretch a little bit there so the first unboxing that we have today is from maison dior you know guys i love dior so much i feel like dior they market very well you know and it's just such a pity that dior doesn't do well you know in terms of like resale but you know if you're not a reseller this is okay dior is just amazing they've got the nicest prints they, everything of theirs is just it's just got that thing man it's i don't know how to explain it but i'm sure you understand like to my dior lovers dior is just wow so the first unboxing will come from dior um it's a pair of shoes like i said they these were so this is what the paper bag looks like in the inside so they have th this paper i don't know what this paper is for but anyways, we love it. We love it. And ta da da ta ta You know, guys, give it to them for their packaging. I love it when, you know, shoes come in a lovely, beautiful box, nicely wrapped. It just shows that, 
you know the your salesperson it took some time and it's just nice it gives luxury you know and you are paying you know a hefty price for these items so it's very nice it's little details like this that really matter um well at least for me so let's go ahead and unbox so there we go it's a true unboxing and i'm opening this for the first time with you guys um so yeah um you know this lady the salesperson she was so nice a uh, very nice young lady i think she's from one of the scandinavian countries um because of her accent but she's absolutely amazing and yeah so here we go okay okay something just dropped down there let me pick it up right so i don't know what this is i guess it comes with most of the other items um the dust bag we love a good dust bag so and i see already that it's got two dust bags we love it and um yeah oh wow hmm excuse me there we go so we have the shoes right here i hope you can see i am tilting the box a little bit but let me just get them out of the extensive wrapping the overly exaggerated you know wrapping so these are the d-way sandals that i got for myself in a size 40 this is what it looks like underneath and these are them you know the funny thing is that i've always eyed these i love this pattern but for some funny reason i used to think that they were like navy blue and a white but in actual reality they're a navy blue and a beige and the beige almost goes to a grayish i don't know but it's quite uh you know a, a darkish beige yeah so these are them like i said they come in a size 40 they're absolutely beautiful on the feet i i just love 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 this pattern and i've it has taken me such a long time to actually get these because you know like i said they were just lingering and i was concentrating on other items but i'm glad that i could finally take this off of my list on this um now trip that i'm on and they have a bit of a heel and the thing is that, guys, I'm leaning more towards a little bit of a heel when it comes to, um, what do I call these, slides. I, I, I love a slide that has, you know, just a little subtle heel. Um, some of you guys may call this a kitten heel, whatever it is, a block heel. But just a nice heel, you know, to give you that lift off of the ground. Because I am more to the elegant uh, casual side and I feel like when they're completely flat they just they not so elegant and plus another thing I feel like feet get more dirtier when you're wearing like the flat um, sandals or slides or mules whatever you you call it so I am really happy that I got these in this particular size I'm a, sorry color and with the heels so these are them i'm sure i'll try to insert some mod shots um because i did try these on i actually tried them on first in dubai but i don't know they were just not doing the things and i realized that you need you know the size matters these do run a size small so you you might have to size up like half a size or a full size and then they'll fit properly and you know it really just does make a difference so these are my babies can't wait to wear them i'm gonna wear them on this trip and i'll show you the next unboxing the next uh item that we have with what exactly i see myself wearing these but yeah it's a perfect buy i know these are like ordinary they're not out of the ordinary these are classic deals but honestly you can't go wrong with a classic item 
you know go for the classics it, they're just timeless they just go with everything they're just there they'll always be there you'll never like feel like oh no i'm wearing unless and you just have to take look after them because you see they come with a nice solid uh wood wooden platform so i would just like if i could i'm gonna actually try see if i can get like a protection here just to you know uh, uh protect the soles uh, or the heels or whatever it is that you you call it next on my list sorry i have to stand up um to get the paper bag it's sitting so far away um yeah so we have another paper bag from dior and you know i love the paper bags when you shop at the dior 30 montaigne which is the flagship store in paris or the whole world it's the first ever you know christian dior um maison and it's it's very special so even their packaging comes with the whole design the dior building and you know just visiting there it's so luxurious oh my god i i i i don't get tired i don't get bored of going there i look for when i come to paris one of the places i always look forward to going to is the Dior 30 Montaigne store. It's just so lovely. Even if you're not going there to buy something, sorry, just to have a coffee and, you know, a slice of cake, afternoon tea, or if you haven't visited the museum, the Dior gallery. Oh, it's so exquisite. You know, Christian Dior, that man, that man had a vision. He's, he's absolutely amazing. May his soul rest in peace. So yeah, we have this lovely packaging with the star, and I love stars, you know, even like um, in just the prophetic meaning of stars is so beautiful. So I love a star. So we have one, two, we have three boxes in here. Hence, it's a bit bigger, this paper bag compared to the first one. So um, I hope you can see, but we're going to actually unbox all of them. So box number one. Um, oh. Box number one, box two, and and we have box three. Okay, so again, this is a shoe box, as you can see, very lovely packaged and wrapped. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know, I love the time that they take to to make this. So let's unbox it with you, my people. And yeah, another thing that has been lingering on my wish list, I see myself wearing this a lot. Um, this comes with the box. This is for the shoes. Again, you, I, I've never opened this. I, I should open this off camera and actually see what's going on in here. And the two dust bags. And then uh, we are here. Mm-hmm. I don't know the amount of paper that goes into a Dior shoe box is absolutely amazing. So these are the shoes, you guys. <gasps> so here's a little bit of a backstory, right? So I went in, I knew exactly what shoes I was gonna get. So it was a slide and the sneaker um in the oblique pattern. I got this in a size 39. They're like the converse you know style it's a converse but with the dior elegance in it so i absolutely love it and it's written here christian dior and in front the lace also is written christian dior in black which is a nice contrast to the actual gray and 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 beige you know so yeah the backstory here is that I did want these, but when I got to the boutique, I saw on the stand, there was another shape. It's exactly this, but it had a bit of a platform. And I'm like, yeah, I love a sneaker that has a platform. I'm a platform girl, you know, I want a bit of height. Like I want to be airborne a little bit. I want to be, you know, a few inches above sea level. I, I love that. <laughs> Sorry. I want to be a few inches above sea level. So, so when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I was confused now. Am I going to get these ones? Am I going to get the other ones? But the thing is, the bulkier ones, 
I don't know. They just don't give that. They lacking something, you know. So eventually, I went for these. And the nice thing about these ones, though, is that the maison or the boutique actually offers personalization. I think that's how you you say it, customization or personalization. I don't know. Um, so they would actually customize it here and put like uh, your initials or whatever symbols or charms that you want and they sort of like embroider it to the back. They add a piece, the lady showed me, they add a piece literally and they join it to the shoe, they attach it to the shoe with that embroidery, add the three letters or your charms or your symbols, whatever it is. And she showed me with my initials, which is WNS. And yeah, so I didn't get them customized today because like i said i was undecided about which one to take because the thicker ones with the platform can't be don't come with the customization and by the way the customization is a free it's offered by the house you know so it's just like louis vuitton they do your customization which is absolutely amazing i love that touch of personalization there it's it's always a plus for me um so i didn't do it today because like i said i was trying to decide eventually when i did decide it was a little bit too late so the people so i bought these slides i left the shop i went elsewhere and then i came back to collect to to now purchase these because i made a final decision that okay i'm just gonna go for these ones though they look a bit conversey but it's converse with you know a bit of elegance it's giving me those supega converse which i absolutely love um very integral part of our childhood for most of us so yeah um i'm very happy about these i am going to be wearing these on this trip so uh, i'm happy then item number this one if you know you know already what could possibly be in here so let's not waste time let's go ahead let's unbox um yeah so again this is what i got when i returned the second time because the first time i went there which was earlier in the morning i just got the slides so i knew i wanted to you know to get a few more things but i just needed a bit of time and i wanted to go to other boutiques as well so there we go mm, 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 mm. So that's what we have we have a scarf an oblique scarf mm. guys when you touch it's not just a scarf it's a dior scarf okay and you can just this is how it came it came folded because it's double-sided so i guess they fold it like this so that you know it shows the other side so let's start off with the gray side um this pattern is oblique look at that so so this you know why i chose this scarf is because this madame goes with this all right do you get the vision <laughs> and um it's got the christian dior let me turn this around so you can see here it's got that christian dior writing so it's gray and white it feels very nice you know high quality and um you can turn it around again to again the navy blue side guys Ooh, i love this so this is the navy blue side and it also has christian dior written there so the navy blue side you know pairs well with this so basically what we have here is do you see the combos guys oh my gosh so i'm i'm very excited about this um especially this particular side uh for now i'm gonna start wearing it on this side and in the next unboxing you'll understand why so this little box here is the last item that i got from dior um very interesting you know now with this box in fact let me just open it first i'm so thirsty i need to drink some water um hang on guys just a moment
I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm sleepy. So right here is the box. Okay. Let's see. I keep checking myself in the mirror there to make sure that things are okay. So this is what is in the box. I just normally unbox and I do a quick video for TikTok or Instagram. But I thought, you know what, this time around, I'm going to give it to my people here on YouTube. They, you guys are deserving. So this is what's inside. If, again, you know, if you know, you know. Okay. This is... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you guessed right. It's a swimsuit. Again, it's the oblique swimsuit. The quality feels amazing. And the fit is even more amazing. You know, I'm not into um, luxury clothes, like the way I'm into the shoes and the handbags and the scarves. But guys, you know, when it comes to these um, boutiques, your Dolce and Gabbana's, your, you know, your Valentino's, these are high couture houses. So when they make a simple trouser, like a white, plain white trouser, it's a couture. It fits right. It just, it, it just works. So nowadays I'm leaning, I'm really leaning towards collecting a few items like blazers, I'd love a Christian Dior blazer and I'm going to start looking into that, you know, blazers, uh, tailored trousers, like a black trouser, a white trouser, things like that, that you can wear with anything, but it needs to be fitted. It needs to be carefully made and, you know, it's worth the investment. So even the swimsuit, normally when I try on swimsuits or when I purchase swimsuits, the first luxury swimsuit that I purchased was a versace swimsuit it fits amazing i absolutely love it but this this fits proper like this is really proper you know so i i didn't even hesitate and yeah this is what it looks like it's open at the back and i think there's a bit of a logo if i'm not mistaken yeah so there's this firefly logo and a small cd I don't know if you'll be able to see it so this is what it looks like um but otherwise it's very nice guys with the scarf girl i'm just seeing myself somewhere in capri in saint tropez you know if you know you know so yeah i'm absolutely happy about this and i will be wearing it soon so please head on over to my instagram I'll leave a link below and yeah, you'll see the beautiful photos on how I plan to style these beauties. So there we go. <sighs> water, water, water. The water is going to keep me through this video. Because just now I can just see that I'm just going to collapse and pass out. And should I unbox these? Should I unbox? No. I did go to Hermes. I have a Hermes unboxings. But I think I'm going to unbox. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to unbox the Hermes items in, a, in another video. Yeah. So the next box, straight after that, I went to. Dun, 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 dun. Louis Vuitton. Ooh, what a big, massive, crazy ass box. So, who wants to guess what could possibly be in here? I don't even know how they open this box. Okay, there we go. So, um, I'm just gonna open this here. No, actually, I'm doing this with y'all. Okay. So let's do this. So let's do this so there we go okay so here's the lv box um how do we do this okay like 
this. Okay, so you have the LV, so heavy. So, and I see that you can open. So this was delivered to my hotel. I paid for it, I purchased it um, at, oh, at the LV shop, at the LV store. Then I actually requested them to deliver this for me. So I see that the lid, the closing thingy, the closing thingy is magnetic, okay? So, so just so to open it with ease. So this is how it looks like so. I'm so scared of ruining the box. So guys, I think by now you can guess what this is. This wish list item, very happy. I finally crossed it out. So, and it comes like so okay i'm gonna put this down for a little while let me get the box out and we can open this together Whew. just take this here <sighs> okay back to my chur there we go this is much better guys oh Oh, have you ever, have you ever, there, let me sit properly, have you ever, have you ever, sorry, <laughs> I'm scratching my eyes, anyways, yeah, so this is how it comes, I've always wondered how they package this particular item, and I'm glad I now see, and you guys can see as well, for those of you who want this item as well, which I know many of us do. It's on many wish lists. And da, da, da. how gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually using this exactly tomorrow. You know, I'm going to use this. I'm not gonna walk around with a big massive LV. There we go, guys. Let me stand. Let me bring this shit closer. So this is what we have. It's the Horizon 55 cabin size in the monogram and uh, you know, uh canvas. I've been, I took a while, you know, um, in buying this because again, I needed to, oh, it's moving because the chair is smaller. I needed to decide which one I was going to take. The initial one, I'm going to link the video of the one that I actually wanted. It was the leather, okay, with the beige and the LV um, embossing. I thought, I want the leather. I'm just going to, you know, because I don't want a canvas. But again, I figured, I was like, the reason why you want an LV luggage bag, um, cabin luggage bag, is because, you know, the LV needs LV, you know? Or else you can just, if I'm just going to get a plain leather one from LV, I might as well go to reputable luggage stores like Cellini, Remoa, and stuff. So hence, I actually finally, uh, my uh, choice finally came to this one. Again, it's got that tag, you know, that you can customize, which I will be customizing. Didn't get it done today because, again, it was late. And um, you can just, you know, this is the handle. You can open it. Very luxurious, I must say. You know, this is what the handle looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's open from the back. And this is what it looks like from the front excuse i think my boobies oh, my girlies are showing the bra but do excuse me um yeah so i'm gonna do a, a video a short video i'm gonna for tiktok but it comes uh with the standard you know uh lock set which you can just set it up with your own uh combination so and another handle here which makes it easier these do come with a cover no I, they don't come with a cover but you can buy a cover just to protect it which is something that i will do unless i know that i'm flying emirates first class and i can just sit there with my bag without having to store it in the 
you know the upper storage so but if not if i'm using any other airline i'm going to use my cover because i want to keep this as pristine as possible i'm never going to buy another luggage set this has to last me a lifetime and i need to pass this down to my kids and to their kids so my grandkids i'm going to try to open this um what okay okay it's locked okay why would it be locked oh, guys i can't open this because i i think it's locked i don't know why it would be locked um but i guess i'll have to go back to the store tomorrow to to find out because why would they lock this yeah i'd have to take it back to the store to to get it checked out so that they can actually unlock this for me and but basically yeah this is what it is so this is the last item that we have on our list today in terms of unboxing I will see you guys in the next video. I will be uploading a next video. That video might actually end up being 